Well, it was shortly after that controversy that we heard uh, the, about the suspension of the NHIS boss, that's the National Health Insurance Scheme boss. Well, he's here to talk, um, talk to us now about his reinstatement but because he's back in office after he was initially suspended by the Minister of Health. Uh, Professor Usman Yusuf, who is Executive Secretary of the NHIS, is with us in the studio. You're welcome to Sunrise Thank Daily. you. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, it's good to have you here. Just good. wondering, what precisely happened? I mean, there's been a huge controversy around your reinstatement. What caused the suspension in the, in the first instance? Right. So, we've done the fight, and we're back. So what happened then, where we are today, and moving the NHIS forward is what I'm interested in. Yeah, but I mean, the there's, reason, there, there's still a cloud. Yeah, correct, happened. correct. There's no cloud. So the reason I was suspended, I wanted to do the right thing. Which was? I was on the seat for 10 months. And what I saw, I wanted to make changes. When I came, I asked, why has the NHIS not achieved its mandate? The NHIS mandate is universal health care coverage to cover all 180 million Nigerians. After 12 years, we are still in single-digit coverage. What has come into the NHIS, what has gone out. We come from academia, ask questions. We ask questions to make things better. Questions that nobody has asked. Why are we where we are? And we all as stakeholders, the NHIS as the regulator, HMOs, healthcare facilities, communities, our politicians, including you, the media. Well, How just... have we failed? How have we failed our people? So I asked tough questions that needed answering. Part of it was what resulted in... That public it, hearing. Absolutely. The but the question hearing. right now is, was it your asking questions that resulted in a suspension? Absolutely. I was asking questions, and of course there were petitions. Professor, you know, there's a saying that... Uh, he who comes to deliver justice must do so with clean hands. Absolutely. And there are serious questions as to whether your hands are clean this morning. Uh, the allegations leveled against you by the investigative panel uh, that was chaired by the Minister of Health uh, essentially laid out a scenario in which 919 million naira was spent on a training scheme. Okay. Uh, 508 of which was given to consultants without any regard for uh, the proc procurement department or Correct. due process, Correct. and that 411 million was actually paid to staff. Now, according to the documents available, the uh, NHIS uh, employment role is about 1,300, and that those that were signed up for this training numbered 1,900, which shows a clear case of fraud. What is your response to that allegation? My response to that is that what you said is absolutely not true. One. And I will tell you why. Training in the NHIS, we have lots of, lots of professionals, doctors, nurses, lawyers, accountants, everyone. Training in the NHIS is not new. We have a huge budget for training. And training is ongoing. And even current training, we have a huge budget for that. When I came to the NHIS, I asked questions. Procurement, uh, procurement department, accounting department, all the departments. Tell me what your, procure, what your training requirements are and tell me who needs to go. What used to happen in the NHIS was, I like you, I give you, you go for training. That's not training. We want to build capacity and capacity that is relevant to the NHIS. If I still 900 million, I wouldn't be here with you. I was brought up in a household where honor and dignity mean something and the worst. The worst, you can say, of where I come from is you're a thief. That I'm not. And I've said it from the beginning. I, on this chair, made a pledge, made a vow to our creator. I'm going to be a good steward of that which I'm interested with. And that which I'm interested with is people's commonwealth. That's why I'm here. And mm -hmm. so all these were based on petitions. So in Nigeria, anybody can write or say anything about you without any respect for the laws of libel or slander. It is up to the person who is accused in Nigeria to prove that he is not a thief. Where I come from, the onus of proof is on the, the accuser. 
So what transpired at the end of the day? Because at the end of the day... The, the allegations are grievous. You have allegations. Admit, just a moment, sir. Right. The, you have admitted that training indeed does go on. In, and the budget for training is huge. Absolutely. So can you tell us precisely how much was earmarked for training within uh, the NHIS? And uh, how many people were you looking at sending all okay. at once? More where you can go to several trainings. Mm -hmm. And you may be count, you'll be counted as one more way. You go to 10 trainings, you'll be counted as one. So investigative agencies, the ICPC and the EFCC, have looked at this. There are people, there are organizations whose responsibility is it, it is to do that. So what and they've looked at that, nothing. What you're telling us is that the amount is budgeted for multiple trainings for members of the NHIS. Absolutely. Absolutely. Professor. You train. We have, we have a thousand people and you can train in Lagos, Ibadan, Kaduna with clusters of people to do that. It's not new in the NHIS. And if there is any executive secretary that's as clean as it comes, you are talking and seeing him. Professor. There is not a single penny. Let me finish. It's very important Nigerians realize this. And it is because of what Nigeria has become. Professor Yusuf, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I, you're saying it's not new to the NHIS. Absolutely. Training. That does not necessarily mean, yes. Uh, now, the process by which trainings are conducted and paid for uh, has a set process. There's what? a due process to Correct. it. Correct. Now, a situation in which 919 million is spent, and most of it, the majority of it, has gone to consultants. Consultants that no, there were no vouchers raised in the name of any of these consultants. It's an illegality, a and clear illegality. Right. How do you defend that? Okay. And what you're saying is wrong. It's not true. So when I came, listen, we have more important story about NHS to talk about than this, but let me address this to you and to my fellow Nigerians. When I came, I asked, give me the numbers, what, how, would, how we've been training in the NHS for the last 10 years. The numbers. Give me what you've been paying all consultants and party and full people. And give me how currently we compare. Give me the names of agencies that are in the NHIS books for training. There is no policy in the NHIS for training. I brought that up. So all you hear is not true. And I'm here to tell Nigerians it's not true. Training in the NHIS follows due process. Troublemakers and mischief makers can say all they want to say the truth will set them free. Well, would, would you include in that group of troublemakers the acting president who saw the evidence and as a result of him okay. seeing the evidence now impaneled the Minister of Health and other key stakeholders to investigate this matter? Good. Would you also include the Minister of Health in that group of troublemakers who looked at the evidence and after an investigative panel of which you were uh, uh, interrogated in now concluded that indeed there was illegal action taken on your part? Good. If there is any person in this country who will know due process and justice is our Vice President, His Excellency Yemi Oshishumbanjo. As a man of faith and as a lawyer, he knows more than any one of us about due process. He did not say to investigate me. The acting president says, go ahead and do it. Acknowledge that. If there is any accusation about any public servant, he should go through what I went through. And I recommend that every public servant in Nigeria yearly should go through what I went through. as a cleansing process to see how you are. So the, president, the vice president don't say investigate him. No. The, the, the minister and panel a panel. And they did their investigation. No. And, mm -hmm. and the investigations... Long before even the investigation, ICPC and EFCC have been looked at that.